Hi, I'm Lauren Scott and I'm going to show you how to tune your harp with an electronic tuner. So first of all, you get lots of different types of tuners. Uh, what you need is a chromatic tuner and you want to make sure that you don't buy a guitar tuner um, because otherwise you won't be able to tune your harp. Most tuners look like this, there's like a square box, um, Korg is a good brand. Um, I actually use this kind of tuner which is a clip-on tuner but I'll show you how that works later. So first thing you need to do is set your tuners, cal turn it on, and set your tuners calibration to A equals 440. Now at the moment you can see it says 436 there, so you're just going to keep pressing that button until you get to 440. Now, you can play with these kind of tuners, you can just put them on your music stand and it's absolutely fine. You can buy leads which you can plug in and attach to your harp, but really that works fine like that on a music stand. So first thing you need to do is put your harp levers down into E flat because it's not good to tune your harp with the levers up. So at the moment I'm in C major so I'm going to put all the levers down. This way you don't have any tension on the strings and you're going to have a properly tuned harp. When you put your tuning key in you're going to be turning the turning the key clockwise for sharp and anti-clockwise to flatten the note. When you're turning you need to bear in mind as if it's a clock face that you're turning it in, in uh, minutes and not five minutes at a time. So it really is a very gentle turn forward and a gentle turn back. The first note we're going to tune is F. So if I play F and we can see that it's quite flat. So I'm going to very carefully and slowly turn the key clockwise. And there we go. So we just have just about a green dot. Sometimes with um, strings, they have vibrations and, they, and it might go a little bit over to the red or a little bit over to the right, but it's generally hovering around the green light and that shows it's in tune. The next note we're going to go down, we're going to tune, is E flat. So when I tune this E flat string, you can see there on the right hand side of the screen of the tuner that it says E flat. And now the next note is D. It's quite hard when you first start learning the harp to understand what notes it says on the tuner and what notes you should be tuning those strings to. If you go to www.iharp.info, on there I have a downloadable chart which just shows you that for every string that you're trying to tune, what the corresponding name on the tuner will come up as. Um, for D, it's straightforward because it comes up as the letter D on the right hand side and the same for C where it gets a little bit confusing because we now have B flat and this is the one that gets everyone so I'm tuning the A string to A flat but it's actually showing as G sharp is that I'm playing the string and turning gently at the same time with the tuning key. Because there's no good playing the string once and then tuning. You need to keep playing so that you can hear.